guys and welcome back to my channel and today's video I did this little makeup look for you guys it's like a pinkish red sort of and like yeah I just did my eyes in this video and um, I'm just gonna show you my plan was to only use the dynasty palette from certify I know that I've done a lot of tutorials with certifies product um, as of lately but I have a hard time staying away from them because I just love them. But I did also dip in to the Tropical Wonders palette. And in the end of this video, I will share my thoughts with you uh, about like these palettes. So it's not going to be like a full review where I talk about um, shelf life and how many shadows and how many shadows are matte and such. But I'm just going to give you some of my thoughts on these palettes because if, uh, I... Spoiler alert, I think that they are phenomenal, but I don't think that they will suit everyone. And I don't think that you should purchase these depending on your uh, preferences. If you have the same kind of preference as me, uh, then yay. <laughs> but if you don't, you will not like this. So, so if you are wondering about these palettes, stay towards the end. Or if you don't want to see the tutorial part, just skip to the end. And you can hear my final thoughts about these. So, if you do want to see how I created these eyes, then please just keep on watching. So I'm going to use my certified Dynasty palette, which looks like this. Mine is kind of dirty. I've said it before, but it is cardboard packaging, so it does get dirty. But I do want to do something, I don't know, like something purple, maybe pink going to an orange. A little bit like I did before, but not exactly like I've done before. Uh, we'll see where this will end up. But I'm gonna take this shadow right here that is called Empress. And by the way, I haven't done my brows. I haven't done anything to my face, but it's just because I hate doing my brows before I've laid down a base. And if I'm gonna lay down a base, I wanna do it with concealer. And I just, I just, I don't know, I just don't like it. So I'll do my eyes first and then I'll do my base and everything. And then I will do my brows. So you will not see it on camera, but I just wanted to explain why I look a little bit weird. Uh, but I'm using a pencil brush. This is from Sigma. This is their E30 brush. And I'm just going to apply this right here. So we just get a little line. Okay, something like this. So now I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit. Not too far up. I'm just gonna try and blend out the lines a little bit. I wanna take the shadow Queen. This is really, really beautiful. Let me swatch this for you. It's like a neony, um, peachy, not peachy, uh, but like a pinky peach almost. Like a coral maybe. It's like, it's really pretty anyway. So I'm just gonna take this on a small blender brush. Blending brush, I mean. And then I'm just going to apply it right here. Oh, this shadow. What's your secret? I go insane. Nothing beats it when you call my name. My love is deeper. Look at this. Oh my god. So, so pretty. And don't worry about the purple shadow. We will intensify that later on. You know, this is all about like going back and forth as we did our first time. I do really want to actually go in with the orange shade as well. So I do actually think I need to dip into this palette, which is the Tropical Wonders palette. And I, oops, I'm going to take this orange shade, which is called Toucan or to, to yeah, Toucan, Tuscan. I don't know. I really, really like this orange. It's not like a true, true orange, but it's a little bit paler. So it's really, really pretty. And then we're just going to take this a little bit over it. We just want a little bit of a transition, but not like too, too much. Okay. 
So I cut my lid, as you can see, and then I also put down a little bit of, let's see, the NYX glitter glue. I thought that I would do this off camera, but I just put it down, down to here almost. So I'm gonna take this pinky shade, which is called Jewel. I will swatch it right here. I think that this can go really well with this, but I will wet my brush because I'm really wanting that foiled effect today. Ooh, this is so pretty. Makes my heartbeat wanna rush. Can't believe that I'm the lucky one. Hey! All night, I want some of that. I do want to do something else on my like outside right here but I don't know what I'm thinking about maybe putting down the shadow queen because I think it's so freaking beautiful uh, but I don't know yet so I will cut my lid and do the same thing on this eye and then I will come back and we can see what we can do <laughs> I look so weird right now without brows and everything mmm I will go in with the shadow Queen. I just need to. So I'm just gonna pack this like right here. This is a very, very um, fluffy brush. So I'm not packing this on. I'm kind of just feathering it on. Like so. Trying to really mix these two sh sh shades together. Just like so. And then we will take a third shadow right here. But what should that be? Because as of right now, these are kind of similar. Uh, I'm not really sure. So what I will do is that I will go in with the shadow and press once again and just intensify the line a bit. We're just gonna pack this on. So I will actually go in with the shadow Honey Creeper from the other palette, from the um, Tropical Wonders palette. This is, as I said, a little bit like purply pink. So I think that this can, can suit this quite well. So as of again, I'm applying this with a little bit more of like a blending brush so I can kind of blend them in while still packing the shadow on. As you can see, I finished up the rest of my face. I got so frustrated before, so I actually thought about like just removing everything. I actually removed this eye, but then I had to redo it. So now I'm kind of happy with it. I cleaned it up, put on a liner. So we're gonna do our under eyes. Uh, I, it's actually been a couple of hours because when I recorded the first part i had actually just woken up so i was very very tired but i think that i will just blend these two shadows together so empress and queen i'm so in love with this shadow it's just such a beautiful shade but i'm taking um empress as i said i'm just going to take this right here and then i got fallout <sighs> Last time we could blow it away, so we'll see if we can do that now as well. No, it just laid in my wrinkles. I'm moving on. Yes, a fan brush, got it all away. Now I'm just gonna tap my brush off, and then I'm gonna press this to, or close to my uh, lash line. Now that I have my lips on and my, um, eyelashes and everything on. I do feel like this look is really, really pretty, actually. I was a little bit bummed out because at first I was like, no, it's not looking good. It's just not really, you know, the purple line is very, it's not really blended out, but honestly, I do actually really like it now. So as I said, I'm gonna take the shadow Queen now, which is this one right here. 
tap your little brush off and then just smoke them out together. Oh, they're so pretty together. Together. I'm actually wearing the ABH Glow Kit in Dream on my skin right now. I'm wearing, I think it is the shadow Wish and then the shadow uh, or the highlight Unicorn a little bit over it. Unicorn is my all-time favorite. It's so pretty. But I do think that it can be a little bit like too much with a pink highlight. So I just love to um, layer them. I think that that is like the most pretty. Now I would really love to have like a really intense um, pink eyeliner in my waterline. I'm gonna see if uh, this, if we can make this one work. But regarding the Dream Glow Kit, I think that I will take the unicorn shade in my inner corner. I think that that can be really, really pretty with this look. Let's see. This is, by the way, the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade 28 Life in Pink. I'm just gonna see here. It's not really... Like, it's doing a little bit, but it's definitely not doing a lot. I just don't think that this is like vibrant enough, but I have seen people take eyeshadow in the water line, so I'm, I'm just gonna try that. So I'm actually gonna take the shadow Hibiscus or Hibiscus or whatever in my inner corner. This is from the Tropical Wonders palette, and I promise you that there are people outside that watches this video right now and is thinking like, no, don't do it. <laughs> but I will, I will try it anyway. Kind of just stamping it on. Let's see if we can get like an, a good shade. I don't think that you can see this, but I do have a lash line right here. Lash line, a lash that is uh, peeking upwards. It has like the morning frizz. <laughs> this actually worked out really nicely. So now I'm gonna take my dream glow kit. You'll see that this is used. I actually cleaned it off, I think it was like two time ago or something I used it, but it still looks like really, really messy. But I'm gonna take this shadow unicorn right here in my inner corner. I love having this in my inner corner. If you have this glow kit, but you're more towards like natural makeup or neutral or browns and such, and you want a little bit of like a pop of color, try just putting like, Oh my god, I just spit on you, I'm sorry. But try to take this shadow in your inner corner. It's, I promise you guys, like, it's so... It will change the look. It will just change the look. Okay, guys, this is the finished look, and I'm really, really excited, actually, because I have been using a lot of greens and purples, and yes, I have, I am wearing... Uh, I am wearing purples today as well, but I really wanted to do something pink. I love pink But I haven't used it for a while now, and I really really wanted to do something pink uh, a little bit more Work and it's been a hell of a ride. Anyway, I did clean off my dynasty palette I really wanted to see if I could just I don't know if I in the video I hope in the video anyway I showed you how dirty it was so the cover you can clean off I just took a pad with some toner on it but inside it looks like this and I'm just gonna give you my f like small little, little round rundown oh my god I can't talk I'm just gonna give you my small little rundown of both of these palettes about the formula and so on so you will get like a mini review here so because I've said so many times that I'm not ready to review them I'm not ready to review them but now I am I have used them a lot off camera and I think that this is my third a tutorial with these palettes. I have tried to use them a little bit more in like in conjunction with each other because I do feel like they are spectacular together. Uh, I do feel like they can... Woo! Totally pushed the camera there. But I do, as you can see right here, this is what they look like and I do feel like they co complete each other or... I don't know, how do you say it? Like complete each other. They focus they um, they go well together. 
I haven't used all of the shadows in these palettes, but what I can say is that the formula of the matte shadows are the same, only the Dynasty palette contains shimmers. So what I will say is that if you don't like Kick Up, you will not like Certify's formula. They contain way more Kick Up than any of the shadows that I have in my collection, even more than ABH. But I will say, when I dip my brush into a palette or a shadow, I am very careful. And when I dip them in the ABH shadows, the, the kick up kind of lays over the shadow. So if you have the shadow pressed like this, and then you dip, the, dip it in, it kind of is laying on top. Versus here, it kind of is kick up, but it stays in the pan. I know that sounds so weird but but <laughs> it really is they are super duper pigmented they are crazy crazy pigmented but what i will say is that i would never use these shadows if i have done my base first because the you will get so much fallout on your face i tap my brush off and but i will say like even if you tap your brush off you will get fallout on your face they are very easy to blend but i have found two duds that I don't think that I would reach for that much. I will show you. They're both in the Dynasty palette. They are the shadow Riches, which I said in my first tutorial, and then the shadow Empress that I used today. This is so hard to blend out. Uh, I find this to be really, really hard. I did use a purple in my, I don't know what I named that look, but this purple is way, way better. In my opinion, it is. The yellow is a really, really good yellow, actually, and I love this orangey shade. It's really, really pretty. So that's my little mini review. These are definitely a formula. Like, the, the main thing that I struggle with this is that it is a very, very loosely pressed which makes them easy to work with, but at the same time, like if you are a person that does your base first, you are gonna hate these because you will have so much problem with getting fallout all over your face. The shimmers are nice. I've used them today, as you can see, and I am more towards like the foiled effect at the moment, so I do wet my brushes, or I do wet, um, I do wet them. I, but I do think that I've only used these two now that I think about it. So maybe I shouldn't really talk that much about the formula, about the shimmers. But yeah, I would definitely recommend Certify. Do you hear that? But yeah, as I said, I don't think that these are beginner friendly. So if you do are, if you are a beginner, um, I don't think that these are the ones for you, and keep in mind, use a light, light hand. But that's my little mini review. I thought that I would share my thoughts because I do have some, but for me, I'm definitely not saying that I'm a pro or anything like that, but I am kind of used to working with colors, and I love them, and I love this look. So guys, that was all from me today. I really hope that you enjoyed this little video. Um, please give me a like if you did like the video, dislike the video if you didn't like it, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, or our YouTube channel. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.